welcome back to A Better World. This is your host, Mitchell J. Rabin, and we're very glad that you're joining us again today. Today we are on location at the Lighthouse at the Voluntary Simplicity Conference, where David Corton, among many others, are talking, giving uh, in plenary sessions, uh, panel discussions, lectures, workshops, all on the subject of bringing people to a closer sense of what it would be like to have a simpler, perhaps even more graceful life. And in that light, David Corton is going to be speaking with us. And also, I just want you to know, he is the author of this outstanding book, is got an undergraduate, graduate, PhD from Stanford University, taught at Harvard Business School, has set up business schools across the world, was stationed in the Philippines and Indonesia for over 10 years, and has come to some startling realizations, which are in this book, through the course of his life on the inside, so to speak, about the nature of globalization, what corporate America and the multinationals have been doing to our precious planet, and is now working on yet a second book on the same subject to further our understanding of what's going on and what we can do about it. So, David, thanks so much for being on the show. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to yeah. be here. Great, great. <coughs> I really honor your work tremendously. I think it's a tremendous gift to, to people who are thinking and reflecting on what is going on right now in our world. We see it mm -hmm. crumbling in so many ways. Mm -hmm. our, our lifestyle is being challenged significantly by economics, by politics, by by social changes mm -hmm. and people are anchorless in a sense yeah. and you really have helped I feel very much so in this book and you're speaking to correctly diagnose the problems that we're facing thank you as a world absolutely could you just give us an idea I know I sum things up but could you give us an idea of what you were seeing when you mm -hmm. went from the inside, in a sense, working for the government, working for the Ford Foundation, yeah. working for these uh, prestigious universities that had you shift into a different perspective? Yeah, and it's, it's, it's really kind of a fascinating story because it reflects so much of kind of our time and, yeah. uh, and where we're at. Part and parcel. Um, right. I mean, the, you know, the striking thing was that as a, you know, as a young college graduate, I made a decision that uh, you know, I wanted to devote my life to going out to work in developing countries, 